I know there's a, a long tradition of excellence here, and I'm thrilled to be here. You know, as, as mentioned, the, the Strategic Command Consultation Committee has been giving the award of the Omaha Trophy away for since 1971. It's actually been in existence since uh, the 1950s. It was an organization that was formed to assist the base in Omaha at that time, and, and that partnership uh, grew from there. You know, with, with each year, now the uh, Strategic Command Committee is uh, afforded the privilege to make the Omaha Trophy Award in concert with USS, US STRATCOM. And I can't tell you what an honor that is. You know, the, the reason the Omaha Trophy existed in the first place was in recognition of the commitment that all of you make every day of all the 150,000 men and women that serve U.S. STRATCOM, we have an incredible appreciation for the mission that you carry out each and every day. And when you think about what's changed in the last 50 years of giving away the Omaha Trophy, a lot has changed. But what hasn't is the dedicated commitment of all of you all across that entire 50 years. And that commitment to excellence is never needed more than probably right now. So we thank you for that. We are, in terms of why we are here today, we're here because everybody in this room has proven that you are the best of the best. Everybody that you're standing next to is committed to a condition of excellence that is being rewarded today with the Omaha Trophy. And on behalf of the Strategic Command Consultation Committee, uh, it's a well-deserved honor. And I know it's an honor that was won last year. And so congratulations for the ongoing condition of excellence. So on behalf of the Strategic Command Consultation, congratulations. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be in front of you. Enjoy the day. So how is STRATCOM Wing 1 doing? Are you guys doing okay? You should be, because I am incredibly proud, incredibly proud to be able to be our operational commander on what is such an important mission set that the world is finally understanding what strategic deterrence is truly all about. What we saw 20 years ago until recently is not what we're going to face 
or what we're facing today and tomorrow. And those white jets behind me, or behind you and in front of me, are indications of how important it is to ensure that people understand what nuclear deterrence is about, strategic deterrence is about, thin line operations to ensure that we always have communication that is allowed from the most senior policy and decision makers to the pointy end of the spear of the warfighter. That's what this is about. It's a beautiful trophy. I am incredibly proud to represent STRATCOM and the forefathers of STRATCOM, Strategic Air Command, that also was able to present that trophy for over 50 years in some semblance. But bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, the reason that that trophy is sitting here today is because of the aptitude that you possess as VQ4, the shadows, in being able to prosecute the mission that I can present forces when required to the President of the United States. Period. Nine. That's why we wear the uniform. Our job is to execute a mission when called upon. And you are able to do that relentlessly and be able to receive this award and this honor of having a three-peat, I believe, of the Omaha Trophy. My goodness, you almost like the Warriors. Uh, yeah, I was wondering how many Laker fans were going to be out there just kind of say something. But on behalf of the 150,000 men and women that I represent, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be able to sleep at night. Thank you for allowing me to be able to have any conversation that I need to have with senior leaders when called upon because of the venerable E6B. So congratulations to the shadows. Now let's get on with it and give you some, uh, give you some prize. Congratulations. The day it is to be at NAS Tinker Air Force Base. Before I get started, I'd like to send a personal thank you to all the shadows who came together to make the ceremony happen. Uh, Bob Holland, thank you very much for all your efforts. Uh, Chris Pierce, Crispy, great working with you again. Uh, the bay looks fantastic. Bay 3 always looks good as usual. Thank you to our facility scenes, our side boys, our color guard. A sincere thanks to everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, General Cotton, sir, an absolute pleasure, pleasure meeting you and thank you for being here today. Uh, goes without saying, we know how busy and chaotic your schedule is, so thank you for being here, sir. Uh, Mr. Bradford, Sergeant Major Kramer, uh, thank you gentlemen for being here as well. Uh, Lieutenant General Hawkins, I don't know if he's in the crowd. Uh, but uh, appreciate his support from him and his staff as well. Uh, Commodore Deputy, COs, XOs, CMCs, fellow Shadows, Iron Men, Roughnecks, Weapon School Warriors, everyone, thank you all for being here today. Uh, special shout out, I would be very remiss if I did not mention our previous skipper, Commander Brooke DeRoche. Uh It was under her leadership last year that our squadron was able to accomplish what we did with limited resources, and I wanted to thank her personally for being here, so thank you, Brooke, I appreciate that. Uh, nuclear command and control. Okay, that's the top priority, the top mission of DOD. Uh, the Shadows of EQ4 are proud to execute that mission day in and day out. We are the tip of the spear. The Red Dirt Sailors of NAS Tinker are a unique breed. Those unfamiliar with what the Navy is doing here will typically ask that question. Jokingly, I reply, there's a secret sub base under Lake Hefner. You should see the looks I get from people's faces when I, when I say that. There are no oceans here, there are no seas here. Only the grit and determination of nearly 2,000 sailors tasked with ensuring our adversaries think twice every day about the fight they would have on their hands if they chose to engage. So although we are not situated in a traditional naval fleet concentration area, we continue to do our job proudly. 
Today is particularly meaningful having the boss, all caps, here in our own spaces recognizing the efforts of our shadow sailors. Over the past three years, the presentation of the Omaha Trophy has been an amazing opportunity for the job of Task Group 114.2, the Tacoma community as a whole, to shine in the spotlight. More specifically, our fine sailors. The continuous work put in daily to keep our mission going. Even with limited resources, degraded assets, we continue to show that we will never drop the ball on our no-fail mission. In the case of this year's Omaha Trophy, we face challenges stemming from the Russian-Ukraine conflict. Despite those challenges, when we got the call, we executed, and we executed efficiently and effectively. This award is an acknowledgement of the hard times that we have endured to maintain our footing in the nuclear enterprise, leading the way in deterrence. I say again to the sailors of BQ4, we are here because we must be. You do this job 24-7, 365, without much recognition, and you do it exceptionally. I see you, your entire leadership team sees you, your actions each and every day never cease to amaze me. We battle, and we continue to battle the issues arising from an aging platform. Keep on the press. Continue to motivate each other as we make our way through this final maintenance push. I'm immensely proud to be your skipper and overwhelmingly proud of each and every one of you. Shadows, you now live in elite air. The Celtics of the 60s, the Jordan era Bulls, and my Lakers powered by the unstoppable force of Shaq and Kobe. So congratulations on your 3P. It is a tremendous honor and a privilege to earn and to be the recipient of the 2022 U.S. Stratcom Omaha Trophy. Squadron, continue to be great today and every day. Shadows lead the way. Thank you.